In this video, I'm going to go over manual retopology in comparison with the auto retopology inside of 3D Coat. I start off with the inner ring around the eye using the strokes tool, and that really gives me a real quick drop down of the ring, and then I'll just start positioning things into place. I'm not trying to be super accurate, just trying to get make myself some space because I'm going to go through another ring. like so and then be sure that you're going to mark those lines so they kind of correspond with the original set. It's just going to make things easier later on. The next one is really just containing the entire eye socket and again making sure that those strokes are in line with the other edges. Next I'm going to create one other ring around the face and then that's going to connect to the uh, nasal labial fold and you'll see that I'm going to uh, kind of take this and blend that right up into that fold like so and then I'm going to continue that down to the chin And then one more, and this is going to go all the way down to the jaw. Okay. And now I'm going to basically give myself a, uh, a loop that's going to go around the back of the head just to get that structure in there. There we go, just to set up that flow. And then next, I'm going to go right around the nose, around the nostrils, and wrap that all the way underneath the nose. And now I'm using the quads tool to quickly drop those down. And again, just make sure you're getting the same alignment with the edges. Just going to make things a lot easier for you afterwards. All right, now this is going around the mouth. just building the support for animation and just good flow for topology. And now we're start, start to work on the more detailed inner ring just around the lips. So now using the points tool I can just go and start filling in these blocks. And you can really see how things just start to kind of come together. Once you get that main structure in there with the edge flow, the rest is just kind of all falls falls right into place. And I'm only, of course, I'm just going to do half the, the head for this demonstration. And you see that I'm, I'm mixing all the different types of um, retopology tools between strokes, quads, and dropping down points. They all have their advantages and um, it's, it's just good to mix them up. Things just go a lot smoother that way. Sometimes I just drop things down and don't really have the right number of, of uh, edges. So when I get to the point where I need to cut or delete edges, I'll worry about that later. And just make sure I'm getting my, my flow and structure in there first. And then I'll just start detailing and just figuring out how things are going to connect after.
All right, just finishing up the half of the upper part, and now I gotta fill in the lips. Again, just using the points tool, and then switching back to the quads. Since this, um, since this head isn't quite symmetrical, I just opted just to um, retopologize half the head without symmetry. And then I will align the center edge um, at the very end. And then I can then you know, use the symmetry to create the full head. Alright, so now I've got to start figuring out how to set the loops around the nostril. And again, I'm not worried about the number of edges I'm using. I know I'm going to have to adjust that later. And just getting rid of the triangles and making sure I have all quads. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and align the center edge. And I do that just by selecting the edge lines and then scaling along the x-axis. And there we go. Next, I use the brush tool and uh, hold shift and use it as a relax just to kind of smooth out all the lines so I don't have any um, really sharp angles going on. Just And it helps with all the spacing between the edges. All right, and now uh, if I just do a subdivision just to make sure everything looks like it's flowing well. Great. Okay, so that's manual retopology, and now I'm switching over to um, auto retopology. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go ahead and follow the same rules that I used to lay down the original uh, guidelines or the flow lines. This may be adding too much. Um, with auto retopology, it doesn't like too much information, but I'm just I'm just going to check to see how well it does if I just kind of add the same principles as when I originally manually modeled um, retopologized it. So you can see I'm basically doing exactly what I did before. On the strokes tool, I, I tend to use the control and click because it allows 
really nice smooth curves and that way I can control the, um, the flow in a nice manner and not have too many control points. So if I have to adjust, it's much easier for me to grab a control point and move it. All right, there we go. And now I'm going to go ahead and let's just see how it does. Now there's no symmetry. I have symmetry off. And it didn't really do a great job there. I do find that turning symmetry on actually does help a lot. And in this case, I didn't have a lot of um, poly set for my retopology. So I'm going to go ahead and rerun it. And this time, all I did was switch um, symmetry on. And let's see how well it does. OK, it's getting a lot closer. But it's still not good enough. I'm going to go ahead and just raise the amount of um, polygons. There we go. That actually doesn't look too bad. And I'm going to delete half of it. And I'm probably going to remove the bottom of the neck. OK, in this area here, it did kind of mess up. Um, and the easy fix was just to remove that edge. And then I just start smoothing out the lines, just relax them a bit. And it helps kind of like just space things a little bit more organized. I'll go ahead and remove that bottom section. Yeah, when I hit subdivide, I got kind of some garbage. It, I'm not exactly sure where that's coming from, but I'm just going to go ahead and delete those. And I'll use that R fill to fill in that little gap. You know, it actually didn't do such a bad job. It did a nice job on the topology. You can see the flow lines all kind of dropped into place. You got the rings, you got around the mouth looks pretty good. Yeah, not too bad. I mean, there's a little bit of cleanup here and there, but overall, fairly happy as a good starting point. Thanks for watching.